So what's up my guys and welcome back of course to ZFX your number one mentor. In today's video guys I'm going to surprise you. Most of the people have been requesting me that you know what? What you can do Mr. Miles is we want a challenge of passing a $20,000 account my forex fund. So what I did is that I bought the account and I was like okay guys let's do this and let's go for it. So let me tell you the simple thing. I'm going to be showing you exactly how we are going to be trading this account. First phase and second phase. You understand that? So if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to the notification bell so don't miss most of my videos. Don't forget this video is sponsored by my forex fund one of the best prop farms of course. Check in my description box and of course join my telegram group if you want to purchase your of an account you'll get my whatsapp number there if you need more of my help so let's get started guys let's move on to the market immediately now i hope you guys are seeing my screen right now this is a 20k account that i just purchased you understand that is evaluation first phase now what you need to know as a trader is before you purchase yourself my forex fund account you need to know one simple thing one thing that you need to know is you have got a challenge and in the first phase, you're supposed to make 8%. Now, what is 8% of $20,000? They want me to make $1,600 in a period of one month. You understand? But in this period of one month, my, my, my minimum trading days is five days. Meaning even if I pass the challenge in five days, I can still move to phase two. So right now, we're only going to talk about phase one challenge. And we are not supposed to make a day loss of 5%. So the first thing that you need to do as a trader is you go to your calculator. You go to any calculator, whether forex calculator or any calculator, and then you calculate. I'm not supposed to make a daily loss of five percent. Okay, what is five percent of of ten thousand dollars? Sorry, five uh, percent of ten thousand dollars. Five percent of twenty thousand dollars. Sorry, twenty thousand dollars. That is one thousand. So meaning you're not supposed to make a daily loss of one thousand dollars. Man, that is really very easy. And now we're gonna talk about the overall drawdown. Overall drawdown is 12%, meaning you cannot reduce your equity up to 12%. Let's say you traded today, you made a loss. When you make a loss, your equity reduces. The next day your equity reduces. So you're not supposed to make an overall, let's say, let's calculate 12%. Over hand 12% times 20,000, meaning your overall drawdown is $2,400. Your equity should not reduce by this $2,400. Your overall equity should not reduce by $2,400. Now, but they want you to make 8%. What is 8%? 8% of, of course, $20,000. That is $1,600. This is what you're supposed to make. So we're going to be calculating the trades that I took and what I what I want. How The first thing is you first make a, a trading plan, guys. First, ask yourself which lot size are you going to be using? And I'm going to be telling you why I'm using this lot size. Now, what is my stop loss? I took how many trades? One, two, I took four trades. Okay, two trades actually, but two positions 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0. Let's begin with the NZD card. Why did I take NZD card? And don't forget that all these trades I do share in my in my Telegram group. For those ones who want to be part of my Telegram group, you can find my WhatsApp number there. And you can be part of the group. Let's get funded together, guys. Thank you so much. So let's move on. Let me show you something very easy. Now we're going to talk about NZD card. Why? What is my stop loss? My stop loss in NZD card is I'm willing to lose 25 pips in NZD card. So 25 pips, how much in dollars are those? Let's calculate again guys because i want you to know that these are the trades for my day and i'm telling you that you're not supposed to make a loss every day of one thousand dollars let's see how much i'm risking daily 0 0.20 in 25 pips let's calculate guys you must be knowing how to calculate pips so that you don't make mistakes so you do like this uh i'm risking 25 pips 25 pips okay in 0 0.20 load size that is two so meaning I'm risking 50 pips, uh, $50 in, in NZD card. I'm now risking $100 because of the two positions, okay? Then of course in JP, JPY, I'm also risking how much? I'm risking $120. You get that? So the total risk that I am risking in all these trades is $100 plus $120. So I'm risking $220, meaning I'm far away from the daily drawdown, okay? I'm risking $220, meaning, and the daily drawdown is $1,000, meaning the account is very, very, very safe. Now, let's see how much am I, how much, how much am I willing to make out of all my trades. This is 80, 80 pips, okay? 80 pips, 80 pips, 80 pips each. So what is that? 80 pips, if I say 80 pips in 0 0.20 lot size, 
80 pips in 0.2 lot size times 2 that is 160 dollars so meaning times 2 again i'm meaning 300 meaning meaning if nzd card goes very well for me and i get 80 pips i'm gonna be making 320 dollars then in the next one i'm also gonna be making 400 dollars so if you say 320 dollars plus 400 dollars that is 720 dollars so meaning in this 720 dollars for me to qualify to pass phase one they need me to make 1600 dollars minus 720 dollars if my trade goes well meaning i'll only be left with almost almost 56 percent to complete the challenge now let me tell you one thing about these trades when you open your trades before you open your trades in my forex fund i want you to first plan for your trades now what is planning for your trades i want you to first calculate and note. okay if this trade goes against me i'm gonna be losing this so that when your stop loss is hit you know very well that i've lost this percentage you get that and whenever you're taking your trades make sure you're far away from the daily drawdown make sure if you're to make that daily loss you're far away from the daily 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 drawdown now let me tell you one simple advice why i advise you to go for evaluation evaluation is cheaper because when you when you pass phase one you go to phase two when you pass phase two you get funded a twenty thousand dollar account real account and how much do you make you get 85 percent of the profits that you make so you see how simple it is and how now let me tell you one simple advice guys getting funded is not something easy you've always been watching my videos about getting funded and if you're struggling with a strategy i'm gonna be leaving a strategy below in the comment section go and check that video it will help you so much so i'm expecting to make over 800 dollars from here and if i make 800 dollars from these trades i'll only be left with 800 dollars extra to to, to pass phase one meaning you can pass this in in two days or three days depending on your program depending on how you plan for your trades so my rule for passing 20,000 account is i only use 0 0.02 two positions okay and i only take two trades per day that's why I'm ta I've taken NZD card and JPP JPY. That is why I'm, I'm doing that. So my target is even if I hold these trades for three or two days and I get the I, I get the I get the how much I get the I get the I get the eight hundred or seven hundred dollars. It means I would be very far away. I'll be very far near to passing phase one challenge. Remember phase one challenge. You're only supposed to make eight percent. You're only supposed to make eight percent. And you can hold your trades over the weekend only eight percent so that is how simple it is so guys wish me all the best and we're going to be doing this challenge we're going to be passing it and we're going to be moving for something bigger and bigger why i chose a two twenty thousand dollar account is because most people of course will afford it and those ones of 100k it's very hard for people to afford it and let me tell you one simple advice if you're buying an account for the first time let's say you want to buy a hundred thousand dollar account i advise you don't buy a hundred thousand dollar account because getting funded is really very different i advise you to first buy first buy first first buy twenty thousand okay you first get used to the challenge because when you when you when, when you go for a challenge you're dealing with a challenge and a target and you're dealing with the time they give you a target and they give you time that you want you to achieve this in this point so guys don't forget to leave a, a like and a comment like them and don't forget if you need more help check my bio check my bio you'll get my whatsapp contact i wish you all the best guys wish me all the best in this challenge you can also be part of the challenge go buy yourself an account and you can set your own rules and of course look first analyze your strategy and make sure you go for it see you next time guys i wish you all the best thank you so much